Hey friends, God bless, God bless. I am back on, ready to read in uh, chapter 40 of Genesis. Amen. Let's get back into this. Amen. Amen. Um, let's give uh, a prayer to the Lord and guidance for this video. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this time that is presented, Lord. I pray that you help guide us through this chapter, Lord, as we read. Open up our minds, Lord, to seek revelation of this word, Lord, that, that we are going to go through today. I thank you, Lord. May your wisdom be upon us. May your Holy Spirit give us revelation. In the mighty name of Jesus, we glorify you and thank you, Lord, for this word. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen, my friends. Glory be to God. So we're going to read this word in the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. It's chapter 40, Genesis. We had, uh, last time I was on, I read chapter 39 of Genesis, which was Joseph's, uh, um, Joseph was tested by the advers uh, adversity. Amen. Um, and now we're going into chapter 40, and we're going to see what happens. Amen. So it says, And it came to pass after these things that the butler of the king of Egypt and his baker had offended their lord the king of egypt and pharaoh was wroth against two of his officers against the chief of the butlers and against the chief of the bakers and he put them in word in the house of the captain of the guard into the prison the place where joseph was bound and the captain of the guard charged joseph with them and he served them and they continued a season inward and they dreamed a dream both of them each man his dream in one night each man according to the interpretation of his dream the butler and the baker of the king of egypt which were bound in the prison and joseph came in unto them in the morning and looked upon them and behold they were sad and he asked Pharaoh's officers that were with him in the word of the Lord's house, saying, Wherefore look ye so sadly today? And they said unto him, We have dreamed a dream, and there is no interpreter of it. And Joseph said unto them, Do not interpretations belong to God? Tell me them, I pray you. And the chief butler told his dream to Joseph, and he said to him, In my dream, behold, a vine was before me. And in the vine there were three branches, and it was as though it budded. And her blossoms sh shot forth, and the clusters thereof brought forth ripe grapes. And Pharaoh's cup was in my hand, and I took the grapes and pressed them into Pharaoh's cup. And I gave the cup into Pharaoh's hand. And Joseph said unto him, This is the interpretation of it. The three branches are three days. Yet within three days shall Pharaoh lift up thine head and restore thee unto thy place. And thou shalt deliver Pharaoh's cup into his hand. After the former manner, when thou was his butler but think of think on me when it shall be well with thee and show kindness i pray thee unto me to make mention of me unto pharaoh and bring me out of this house for indeed i was stolen away out of the land of the hebrews and here also have i done nothing that they should put me into the dungeon when the chief baker saw that the interpretation was good, he said unto Joseph, I also was in my dream, and behold, I had three white baskets on my head. And in the uppermost basket there was of a, all manner of baked meats for Pharaoh. And the birds did eat them out of the basket upon my head. And Joseph answered and said, This is the interpretation thereof. The three baskets are three days. 
Yet within three days shall Pharaoh lift up thine head from off thee, and shall hang thee on a tree. And the bird shall eat thy flesh from off thee. And it came to pass the third day, which, which was Pharaoh's birthday, that he made a feast unto all his servants. And he lifted up the, up the head of the chief butler and of the chief baker among his servants. And he restored the chief baker butler unto his butlership again. And he gave the cup into Pharaoh's hand. But he hanged the chief baker as Joseph had interpreted to them. Yet did not the chief butler remember Joseph, but forgot them. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this word that was presented today, Lord. May you just give us insight in revelation on this chapter, Lord. We glorify you and thank you for this chapter. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys. So we see here in this chapter that Joseph winds up um, having two people in the prison with him. One a butler and one a chief baker. Amen. Which Pharaoh had put them in there because they have offended him. They have offended their Lord. Amen. So they both be put into, into the dungeon where Joseph is. And Joseph sees, sees that they have a sad conscience, right? We see that he says, why do you have such a sad face? And they both had a dream. So we see they both had a dream. And then what's interesting is how Joseph talks. He says, isn't interpretation for God belong to God? So we see here that Joseph understands that all interpretations come from God, which we have to remember as well. All interpretations come from God. Amen. And that he has a gift of interpretation we see as the story goes on. So, Joseph, um, we've seen throughout the chapters that we've read that he is a dreamer. He dreams dreams, and God gives him revelations. Amen? So now we see that he has the gift of the interpretation of, of the dreams. Because he goes and asks them the dream to share it with them. Amen? And tells them the interpretation of it. So we see here the first one um, tells his dream to him. And he says to him that the three branches, which mean three days, amen. And um, it says, Though it budded in her blossom short forth, and the clusters thereof brought forth ripe grapes. And Pharaoh's cup was in his hand, and he took the grapes and pressed them into Pharaoh's cup. And I gave the cup unto Pharaoh's hand. So that was the first guy's dream, amen. The butler, Um the butler glory be to god which is a cup bearer amen and we see here that joseph interprets that it's three days right the three branches are three days and that pharaoh will lift him back up into his position amen he will restore his place as butler as chief butler glory be to god <clears throat> And it will be like before, because it says, um, after the former manner when thou was his butler, so he'd be restored the same, same way. But to think on me when it shall be well with thee. So on verse 14 is important, because he's asking him to remember him. After when everything is well, and you see that the interpretation that he'd given him was, was accurate and from God. And he says to remember him and make mention of me unto Pharaoh and bring me out of this house. So he's asking him to not forget him. Amen. For indeed I was stolen away out of the land of the Hebrews. Amen. He tells him. And here also have I done nothing that I should be put into the dungeon. So he's telling him that he's innocent and he's there innocently. And um, he, he's, he's in there wrongfully to make mention. Amen. Of him. To their Lord to Pharaoh the king so we see after this that the chief baker is watching as he interprets the dream for the butler and the chief baker also sees the interpretation that the butler got from Joseph from God was good so he decides to tell Joseph yet he had a dream also and um, gives Joseph 
the dream and gets in and it also gets interpreted amen in his dream was um about three white baskets on my head <clears throat> and the basket was full of all manner of baked meats so he had three baskets and it was full of baked meats it says for pharaoh and the birds did eat of them of the basket upon my head and joseph answered and said this is the interpretation thereof so joseph knew the interpretation yet again the three baskets are three days amen so it's almost like the first one three days so the first one was three branches the second one was three baskets yet within the three days shall pharaoh lift up thy head from off thee and shall hang thee on a tree so he's basically telling him he's going to be hanged he's it's it's he's not getting good news like the first guy amen the chief baker and the bird shall eat thy flesh from off thee amen and it came to pass on the third day so three days later which was on pharaoh's birthday that he made a feast unto all his servants so he made this big get together a feast because it's his birthday and he lifted up the head of the chief baker in the chief and of i mean the chief butler sorry and of the chief baker baker so he takes them both out of there right among his servants among his guests his people and he restored like joseph said he restored the chief butler unto his butlership again amen and he gave the cup unto pharaoh's hand what he predicted what the lord gave him interpretation amen was fulfilled here we see it was fulfilled what he had said but he hanged the chief baker as joseph also interpreted of them so he interpreted both dreams accurately we see here yet did not the chief ba butler remember joseph but forgot him amen so we see here that joseph's interpretations um um, one having a positive outcome and the other not so positive, right? Um, in some translations, Joseph is credited with saying that the baker's head would be lifted up. But it is actually a reference to him be hang to be, hang be hanging. Um, that he's going to be hanging, like from a tree, uh, you know? And the baker would not simply suffer execution, but his corpse would be impaled and publicly exposed. So Joseph's predictions come true just as God had said, like I said earlier, right? But one of the men is is reinstated by Pharaoh and the other is executed. Between the end of this chapter 40 and the beginning of chapter 41, however, we see that two years pass. So we're going to see from, from this chapter in going into the next that is two years later, right? Um, pass without the butler fulfilling his promise in remembering Joseph and his... Uh, interpretation right in his gift that remembering his gift that he had which he helped him with interpreting um, his dream so imagine that interpreting these two two dreams for these two men that are there with you in the dungeon and asking them to remember you and he, the guy gets free and in um Everything, he gets back into his position, everything is good, and he just completely forgets about Joseph in, in, in the interpretation that he gave him, and that it was fulfilled. He just completely forgets about him. Amen. Hallelujah. That is a hard one. So we see here that everything happens in its timing. Amen. And sometimes when we do good for others, they won't remember. Amen. But what we have to remember is God sees and God remembers. And everything happens in God's timing. Amen. But this is amazing. Just remember that interpretation always comes from God. Amen. And we always go to God and, um, and ask Him for interpretation. Amen. Glory be to God. But that is chapter 40. Amen. Until chapter 41. Thank you friends for watching. Um, please hit the like button if you like this video. And please share um this video and share this content of the bible and of the lord and of the dreams amen if you have any um 
anything that you want to ask about this chapter or whatever stuck out to you just leave a comment and let me know um and we can reflect together all right thank you guys until next time god bless you shalom shalom